Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Rotor Talk Live, Season 4, Episode 45, DJI Mavic 3 Pro Pre-Launch Special. How is everyone doing tonight? Exciting week, okay? How, how can it get more exciting, guys, than having the Mavic 3 launch and then this weekend is spin-up, okay? It's... It's pretty. It's pretty awesome. And um, wishing everyone safe travels to spin up um, and a safe, enjoyable, and fun time. You know, just you know, flying drones, talking to people. The, the best thing about spin up. I know I haven't been there. I'm hopefully going to get there next year. Best thing is about it is being able to have some have some what we call breaking bread with our fellow drone flyers, okay? That's the best thing, okay? You know, flying drones is good, but talking to people and enjoying th enjoying them is is what really makes spin up worth its while. I know Kelly's going to put on a fantastic time for everybody. I know people won't be disappointed. Got some got a great um, got a very special guest coming on tonight, okay? Um, Ron's going to join us a little later. But he won't be on too long because he's getting ready to go tomorrow. I believe Marcus will be able to join us a little later as well. So the whole show, the whole show, we're going to be talking about this. First of all, I want to greet people tonight. Alvin, Alvin Prather, Johnny Dronefire, welcome. Uh, let's see, Leonard Oglesby, Captain Ray Kelly, welcome, Ray. Grumpy Vlogger, welcome, Lloyd. Hope your wife's doing well. Bill Thomas is in the house. And Maddie's Drone World. Welcome, Maddie. Uh, let's see who we, else we got here. Um, uh, Drone Views Media. Drone Master, welcome, my friend. Good to see you. Phoenix Video. Nick's High Tech. Um, Crypto Man 5000. I uh, want to make sure we get everybody here. Drone Shots is in the house. Jaybird is in the house. All right. All right. Sean T is here. All right. Oh, that's great. That's great, Lloyd. Glad you had a chance to get get together with him. That's awesome. That's that that is absolutely awesome. Uh Akarasho is here. All right. Guys, <laughs> this is it. I mean, this is a this is what you would call a pen. I'm trying to look for the wor word. It, it it's like everything great about drones is happening this week, okay? Uh, something we've been waiting for for at least two years, the Mavic 3 release. It's right on our heels, and it's coming up, and we got a lot to talk about tonight, and I mean a lot to talk about. And then spin up, okay? It, it's just I'm still, you know, the timing is is impeccable. I'm sure I'm sure DJ worked it out with Kelly. No, I'm just kidding. But it, it's it's incredible this, this happens right on the eve of you know, spin up. It just absolutely. I think it's fantastic. I hope you guys had a chance to watch Drone Nation last night. Um, they went over things very well as far as spin up is concerned. If you didn't go back and watch it, you know, they went over, they got some information from Kelly about itinerary for spin up and what's all is going on. So, um, Please go back and watch that. Um, it was a great show. It was a long show last night for those guys. They were up. They were on almost two hours, and it was very, very good. It was a good show. I had to go to bed because um, my work time comes bright and early for me. Anyway, here, okay, we're going to be joined in a little bit by some great people, so you have to bear with me for just a little bit here. Okay. Now, you know, we are, the like I said, and here's our first guest. What's up, Bill? From the sunny, su sunny, Flo sunny Florida, none other than Matt himself. Matty, how are you, my friend? I'm doing good, Bill. How you doing, buddy? Thanks for doing having me great. on tonight. It was. It's been too. You know, I should have had you on like eons ago. I mean, <laughs> seriously, seriously, this has way been way too long. You should have been on here a long time ago. I feel special. I got to tell you. Well, um, you are okay. Because every time I have a guest on, they're a very special guest. They're always a very special guest. So, so always. So, are you excited about spin up? I am, man. Um, I'm just looking forward to getting out of Florida in general. <laughs> <laughs> I really am. But uh, we have everything tidied up. Um, 
you know, just got to we're going to finish packing tomorrow and then we are heading out on um, Thursday afternoon. Oh, man, that's that's going to that's going to be. Well, let me tell you, I, I escaped Florida back in July, went up to Ohio. That's where my kids are and my granddaughter. And we went up for her birthday. So that's the first time we've been out of the state and like eons and it's it's such a great feeling oh my gosh yeah i mean we never get to get out like period we don't travel much because the kids are always in school or the wife's working um and and the only time we got to travel this year was when we did the florida meetup in in sebastian and that was only two hours north of me yeah so, so. it's yeah it, i i know what you're saying it's like yeah we've been driving within florida but it's like going out of florida we haven't done it and you know you know of course COVID is still rearing its ugly head and you know, that, that kind of pu- kind of puts a little bit of a damper on things. Well, reason, and I don't know, I, I just want to let you know, I would love to be doing what you're doing and Johnny and and and, and Marcus and everybody, but um, my granddaughter and my daughter and her husband are coming, my son-in-law, they're coming down a week before Christmas. So that's my, uh, that's my yeah, and that's, that's, I saved that vacation time, especially for that. Uh, otherwise, I would be on my way to texas as well with you. family first man that's right always 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 that you know that's what? the reason i'm dragging mine <laughs> hey you know you know it, it, you make it fun because i know um ron and marcus last time that they both went um you know their wives came with them and yep. um they had a blast they all had a, had a great time there so um and, and i gotta say this you know I, I can tell you this i've actually i've met kelly um, during the Mavic 2 launch in, in New York, got a chance to meet him. By the way, he's tall. Okay. It, 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 you don't, you don't necessarily see, you don't necessarily find out how tall a person is till you meet him in person. Okay. Yep. Kelly's tall. All right. But I'll tell you what, he's great. And I, and I can tell you this, he is going to put on a first class event on Saturday. I guarantee it's going to be off the rails this year. It, it will be. Speaking of tall, I'm I'm six four, so I might not have a problem. You probably won't have a problem. Okay? I hope not. Well, that's like Ed Ricker, okay? Um, you know, and I met him in New York, New York too, for, for the release event. And and I'm like, you know, you don't really know how tall a person is until until you actually see them in person. And I'm, I'm like, uh, hi Ed, how are you? You know, it's like one of those deals. I mean, I had no clue he was that tall. You couldn't tell from his videos. You absolutely no, could not can't. tell. It's, Another yeah, thing it, being starstruck, man. When we had our Florida event, um, some of the people that showed up, I was standing in front of them and I got to meet them and I was like, I, my jaw was dropped. I didn't know what to say. Ah, I was yeah. starstruck. Seriously. Well, you know, I got to meet, it was the first time, believe it or not, okay, you, you know, you know, Ken Dono lives probably about, you know, 45 minutes or so away yeah. from me. The first time I met him was was in New York City, believe that or not, okay? It was crazy. I mean, because our, our schedules were like, you yeah. know, like that kind of thing. And and then I met Billy there. I also met Rick Smith. Um, You know, it was, it was a wonderful event and see DJI has gotten away from that. Okay. These live events because it cost them a fortune. And let me tell you this, Matt, it was a first class all the way deal. The DJI put on, they rented this place called the Dougal center, which was this old um, it was in the Navy pier yards over in Brooklyn. And it overlooked, you could see all of Manhattan from, from inside. There was oh, glass. I can only imagine. And then what they did was they gave us SD cards as we walked in. They gave us a little gift kit. And I couldn't figure out why they're why are they giving us SD cards. Well, they had Mavic 2s ready for us to fly. And they got permission from the city of New York to fly them over the Hudson River. And it was just... Can't go wrong there. Oh, my. It, it was, yeah. I was... I was I was I was scared. I did not fly. Okay, I just I, I took a lot of pictures and, and video for that day. So that was their last event, right? Was the Mavic Two? Yeah, that was the very last time they had an actual in-person event for a drone. Was that? And, wow. You know, and it, and it cost them uh, it cost them a lot of money to put oh, on yeah. a show like that. I mean, and you know, th- this way nobody has to go anywhere. You know, it 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 they're they're doing it. You know, because people are still you know, kind of antsy about COVID and, and everything. And it kind of makes sense for them yeah. not to do this right now. So understandable. You know, that, yeah. So, so that's, that's where we're at with this. Ron's probably going to be on in a little bit and he won't be able to be on too long tonight because he's getting ready. He's going to leave tomorrow. Um, yeah, that's right. He is showing up early. He said he will be at the hotel, I believe tomorrow night. 
Yeah, he's going to be there tomorrow night. So He's going to um, have the grill and everything ready for us when we get there. Ah, we're all staying ah, in the same hotel. See, that, see yeah, you, you know, that, that's, that is a good <laughs> thing. Well, I actually met Ron and his wife came down here to Florida and spent some time here a couple of years ago. And we met over at Clearwater, Clearwater Beach. Well, actually, North Reddington Beach. And we got to do some flying at night. And what or it was like dusk. And I, I basically sold the Mavic 2 to him because he had original Mavic Pro. And he got to see <laughs> mine at sunset. And then he was looking through his Mavic Pro at sunset. And he was like, wow, his jaw had dropped. Okay. And it's just like I sold a drone right then and there to him. And he bought it. I mean, he was like, he was like, get yeah, sold, Bill. He says, I, I, I got to cool. I got to meet him in Florida at the meetup. And then we got to fly with me, him, and Michael Wright and Ray Kelly on Monday. Monday morning, oh. just the four of us. Oh, and man. He is one of he is one of he is one of the coolest guys I've ever hung out with in my life. Ron, he Ron, is so much fun to be around. He's always he happy. He is. He's 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 he's, he's, he's even keel yeah. all the time. Okay, yep. and that's what's that's what's great about Ron. He he really is. He's also I call him affectionately the Jedi Master of Sunsets. Okay, <laughs> because you know he has pra he practices all the time up where he lives because he lives right on the shore yep. and his his videos are just off the charts i mean and 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 he knows what he's so well he came from a background of photography that's why, how he got started in this and he, he just translated into drones and um he the sky's the limit with him it really is it is it, it really is well we got a lot to talk about tonight um you know uh, you know we're, we're learning more and more and more and the first thing I, I wanted to talk about la, it, is, the, is the, the new smart controller, not the old one, the new smart controller. Now, I don't know if you caught this last night during the show, but um, Lauren put in the chat and you know during, during the show that the new controller is going to be available a la carte, if you will. Okay, mm -hmm. so you can buy it separately. But I don't know if you heard the price. About $1,000. About $1,000, okay. Yep. Wow. Okay. And now I know, I know where you're going to come from on this and I, I'm, I'm, I'm with you on this. Okay. Because all right, the screen size, all right. You know, and I know people are like, you know, Oh, you know, well, you know, it, that screen is really good on, on the, on, on the smart controller. Yeah, it's good, but you know what? It's not great. And in, yeah. in the size, the real estate on that thing. Okay. You know, uh, Matt, I'm 63. Okay. I need I, I glasses. Yeah, it, bigger is always better. Okay, I'm only 37 and I hate flying with my phone. Uh, yeah, I, my biggest my biggest thing is is when I'm flying, uh, especially with a 10 inch tablet, is I love seeing more detail in my video feed. Mm -hmm. And with a phone, you almost find yourself zooming in on things just to get an idea of what it actually is. Yeah, and that's oh, a yeah. problem for me. I I'd rather have something big. To where I don't even have to use my zoom feature. If I see something in the on the horizon that I want to shoot, I'm not worried about what it is or where I'm going because my screen size gives me just enough availability to be able to see what's in front of me. And yeah. that's my biggest thing. And that was what put me off when I saw that V2 smart controller. I said, God, why? I don't yeah. I, I said the same thing, Matt, because it's like, okay. You know, all they really did in my book is they repurposed the original smart controller. Pretty much. They've added some features to it. Uh, you know, granted, you know, it's now OcuSync 3, and 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 I think there's there's some more memory in it and a better processor yeah. and so forth. But, you know, I'm calling it, it, as I did with Ron and Marcus, I call it, it's like smart controller 1.5, okay? Pretty much. Yeah, it is. I mean, you know, and, and, and see, the thing is, a lot of guys are going to go out and grab that, all right? And and I think just, you know, it's a mistake. And, and you heard Michael last night on the show. He's talking about the Triple Tech tablet, you know, 800 bucks, okay? And, yeah. you know, not only does it have a, you know, of course it's Android, you know, and it's a, it's a bigger size. Mm -hmm. And the other thing, you have the ability, it has a SIM card, okay? So you could go ahead and uh, you don't need a hotspot for it. Nope. Um, you know, I, I do the same thing. My tablet has 4G service on it. I won't use one that has to have hotspot because it's just it, it's just a another step mm -hmm. that I'd rather not take. I but, agree. Now I got caught. I, I had a I had an iPad Mini Four, and 
I don't have to tell you. You know how hot it is flying down here in Florida. I mean, I like to fly before like 11 in the morning or 10 in the morning. Mm -hmm. And then I'll fly like after four or five in, 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 the, in the afternoon because, you know, between those other hours, it's it's killer. OK, yep. it's just absolute killer down here. And until you live in Florida and fly in Florida, you don't really know and realize how hot it is. And I found out my iPad mini. I was flying. I was flying my Phantom 4 Pro back and my iPad mini. It got hot and it just shut down. OK, Oof. totally. And I was lucky because I could see the drone. It was coming back. I had visual reference, you know, obviously, and it was on its way back. So, you know, I didn't have a problem. But, you know, imagine you're out and, and that happens and it cuts out, you know. Yeah, that's not good. No, no. And, and this triple tech tablet, you know, because I know because I talked to talk to Ken about it a lot because he had he had gotten the original model uh, and, and he was now he was singing the praises of it during the original when the original one came out before they did the upgrade. And, and now, you know, it's good to hear from Michael and his what his take on it as well. So, you know, in, in my book. I think those that go ahead and buy the smart controller, save a couple of hundred bucks, go and get the, the triple tech. Yep. And, and I know Ken also makes, um, God, he prints everything off. Okay. On his 3d. Printer. Oh, he makes a really cool, pr um, uh, 3d printed, uh, bracket for the back of that thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So, yeah. Don't even, don't, don't, don't even get anything other than what Ken does because he does a great job on it. Yep. So yeah, that's, that's something that, that I absolutely yeah, it's it's pretty it's pretty big. Yeah, it's a big boy. Now, the the slim design on the arms, that kind of threw me off for a minute. Because yeah, they're like really really thin <laughs> compared to any of the other Mavics. Yeah, and well, you know, one of the things that I was kind of hoping for is, you know, the the whole thing when they came out with the Mavic Pro was unique was the rear arms having a fold under, okay, like that, you know, which which is something everybody's used to right now. Mm -hmm. But somebody said, you know, it would be nice if they would go to a design, you know. And I'm gonna I'm gonna bring up Femi for a second, all right. You know, the the SE 2020, SE 2022. You know, they fold out, okay. They don't fold. It's not up and up and in. They fold mm -hmm. out, all right. And I know a lot of people said, you know, they wish the DJI would go to do something like this. There has to be a reason for it. I'm not sure. Probably somebody like Rick Smith, who's an engineer, he probably knows why they do this. I don't have a clue. There's probably some sort of crazy technical reason for it. Um, yeah. My opinion to be different, but I could be wrong. There's, yeah, I don't. They're the yeah. only ones that do it. I mean, I every now and then you'll see a toy grade company that snaps them out like that. But other than that, the Mavic line is the only drone out that actually swings out like that. I believe they stuck with it maybe just – just cause, um, it works. Yeah. I, yeah, I, I think so too. You know, uh, you know, and, and you also have to have, have to think about the electrical components and the wire that runs there and, and all of that. Um, you know, is it easier? Is it less stress on that wire? Who knows? Okay. It's just yeah. one of those, it's just one, just one of those crazy things. Okay. You know, and one of the interesting things is, that where the how they what they did with the battery this year okay instead of having it on top you know putting it in the back like the like the phantom and, and the mm -hmm. minis um i think that's a good thing uh you know that that's just you know aesthetics aside i think it's good um, i do yeah i do too and i think you know and, and this is again you know i'm not an engineer but i think center of gravity and things like that i think there's some you know I fly, I fly RC planes as well, okay? And yeah. center of gravity is really important where you put that battery to achieve a good center of gravity. And, and I think they've kind of done that here. I think they've done that right here. Yeah. Also, being able to slide in the back like that allows them to keep the battery slimmer and mm -hmm. um, more, more for electronics and whatnot in the body because of it being able to slide in the back. It's not going on top or hooking underneath. And as we all know, on the Mavics, the, the, you know, the batteries take up you know, a third of the body because of the way it snaps in with mm -hmm. these, you can go a little bit smaller with them, which gives you more body for electronics. I think that that was a smart move. I think it was. Yeah, I agree. I, you know, I, I have absolutely positively no, you know, if, ands or buts about it. I think mm -hmm. it, I think it's a great thing. I think they want, they, they got smart with that. Okay. Now, you know, 
I've actually, I've had a lot of people comment, you know, obviously, you know, one of the things was, was the pricing. Okay. You know, and, and, and people are having heart attacks. Um, you know, <laughs> they're, you know, it's just, you know, it's like, Bill, 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 why is it so much? Why is it so much? And everything, you know, let's go back. And, and one of the things, and, and I want to go over what, Hey, Kesterloo found, but I, but first I want to go back to what I paid for the Mavic two originally when I bought it. Now I bought it. I, <laughs> this is funny. Okay. When we were at the event, it was Rick Smith, Billy, Ken, they're all up on, they're on their phones and I can't figure out because I'm trying to pay attention to the speaker and everything. <laughs> they were ordering their drones. Okay. I didn't know, I didn't know they were doing that. I didn't order, I didn't order mine until we got back to the hotel mid afternoon, but they were actually ordering their drones online, which I thought was kind of funny. Okay. Right during the event. I was, <laughs> like, I was like, this is, this is crazy here, but I ended up paying, it was roughly around $1,400, $1,500 for it. Okay. Not with the fly, you know, the fly market was, was more. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you, if you roughly add five or $600 to that, okay. The leap in technology that the Mavic three is ahead of the Mavic two, two pro. I mean, that's a pretty considerable leap, Matt. It really is. It makes know? sense. Everything, and you, as you know, everything is going to go up in price. There, it's not like we're going to get better drones for cheaper value. That's just not how it works. Uh, and the technology leap that they made from the camera to the body to the fisheye obstacle avoidance sensors, which, by the way, I think are going to be pretty, pretty crazy because of the way they're placed and the size mm -hmm. of the sensors. Um, it's all in all just a complete, complete upgrade. Now, and, go ahead, go ahead. No, I was going to, hey, you have to understand where the price point's coming from. And, and you know, I, I think, I think that even at the base price of $2,100, it's going to be, it's going to be worth every penny. Yeah. And, and that's one of the things that, that we were talking about. And we'll, we'll get to this in a minute. I want to show these prices here. Now they, they translated these from, from, from Chinese yuan um, you know, the, the base model is 2168 US dollars, Mavic 3 Flymore combo on uh, 2761, and Mavic 3 Cine Premium combo, uh, 5134. Okay. Uh, mm. and, and one of the things that, that I tell everybody, you know, because I get a lot of comments about, about that, about the, the, the Cine combo, and, and I tell people this, man, I'm like, look, guys, okay, you're paying for Apple ProRes here and you're paying for the one oh, yeah. terabyte on onboard storage. All right. Yep. And, and I'm going to tell you this. Okay. Unless you're a professional and I mean, truly a professional photographer. Don't get this. Okay? No, you don't, you don't need it. You don't need it. And the other thing is, and you know, we've talked about Ron and I've talked about it is, you know, you need a powerhouse PC or Mac to handle something like that. Okay. Yeah. You, you need you need to have a raid set up, okay? Because this is gonna. Because I talked to Cliff Totten, and I, do you know who Cliff is? Uh, I I've talked to him in the chats before. I don't know yeah. him personally, but I know who he is. Yeah, yeah, he's a famous videographer for one mm -hmm. of those. Uh, he actually on Discovery Channel. Okay, he he works for them. Okay, um, but he was telling me he said you know the onboard storage that one terabyte it's gonna go like that with Apple ProRes. Okay, yeah. It's going to consume it up. And he said, you know, you have to have so much storage on your PC. Like whatever you think you need, you need to double it. Okay. Because, and you can't go around unless you, unless you're a big company, you can't go around saving a lot of these files because it, it'll, 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 you'll lose your space on your computer. Yeah, absolutely. And a lot of people keep questioning as to why the, the such the price jump. You got to understand there's, you got a you got a thousand dollar smart controller in there. You got a thousand dollars worth of ProRes license, and you got the SSD, which is going to be what one hundred and fifty to two hundred dollars. Yeah, so you're at twenty two hundred dollars right there, just in three materials. Yeah, and so yeah, it's going to go up. It's going to go up from there. Um, the only thing I don't get is the seven hundred dollar price jump between the Flymore and the standard combo. Okay, and that's a good. I wanted to, I wanted to talk about that as well because you know I found out you know I wa watching the show last night. Um, I think from from what they're saying, batteries are going to be like 225, 250 for batteries. Yeah. Okay. So you add two of those batteries together, there's five hundred dollars right there. Okay. But okay, the, the rest of that is I'll call it non-expensive stuff. Okay. Extra ND pop, filters. That's, ND that's, filters, yeah. The bag. Mr. Ron Brown, how are you, sir? Hey. Hey, good night, Bill. Good night. I mean, hello, Matt. How are you guys tonight? I doing, doing good. Buddy. 
We're talking about the price of the Mavic 3. We're actually talking about, about the fly more combo, the, 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 the leap there. Okay. Oh, you have some good news on the pricing for me, Bill? No, I wish. Okay. Cool. What's like, well, you know, I, I'm hearing, you know, the batteries are like 225, 250. 220, yeah. Yeah, you well, know, that makes that makes sense because the Evo Two Pro battery is two nineteen, so yeah. mm -hmm. if this makes sense, that it's on par with the I Evo think battery. With all the information we've gotten with the price leaks from overseas and whatnot, I think you can pretty much guarantee that the pricing that's going to be on this quad is what you're seeing now, the twenty one, twenty seven, and five. I think that's pretty much spot on. Remember, though, um, usually the um, the U.S. price is usually lower than the converted price. For our nations, it, yeah, it, it has been almost every drone that we get seems like we get a little discount over the foreign nations. That's not saying it's going to happen this sure. time, but we have it. Most they have, um, time. they leaked, they leaked the euro prices and mm -hmm. the euro prices in the past from the Mavic 2, the Air 2S, the Air 2, all of them have usually been dead on with US price. So, no, that's funny. I, I think I, I was watching Geek Spawn and somebody else today, and they were saying. They tend to they tend to be a little the U.S. prices tend to be a little lower than the the U.K. prices on most of these releases. Well, let's hope they are. Yeah, I mean, that well, would we're be talking, nice. I mean, we might as well argue because we're we're talking dollars here. Whatever. Yeah, we're, we're not talking any big substantial savings, but uh, you know, maybe we'll be fifty to a hundred dollars cheaper than the rest of the world's prices, but no big no big discount. I mean, uh, Bill, oh, that you've been, you've been be going into so long, Bill. Care said, refresh. It will not be cheap. <laughs> This will not be a budget drone. Anybody that's shopping on a budget probably want to avoid the Mavic 3. Yeah, yeah. You said that and, all along, Bill. And, and, you know, this is the thing to do, and this is my recommendation, okay? Just get the Mavic 3, buy the batteries a la carte, okay? Mm -hmm. And go ahead and get yourself a nice hard case for it, that's okay? It. I, I mean, seriously. You don't need – don't spend the $2,700 because, you know, people say, well, it has that – the charging hub, guys – it only charges one battery at a time. It's okay. only yeah. It's, it only charges. Yeah, one I remember the the, thir the third party uh, charging hubs that you could get on Amazon. Typically, a few months after these released, they charge the, all the batteries at the same time. So yeah, they're, and they're cheaper. Yep, and they were. I, I would go with the standard combo as well because I, for for one, um, I can get. I, I would end up buying uh, third party ND filters anyways. That's oh, for yeah. one. and number two with a forty five minute flight time on a battery. I'm good. That's all. Yeah. That's all it's going to take. You can get a lot of footage on one battery. Yeah, you will. You, Matt makes a great point. I mean, I'm probably going to buy one extra battery, and then I'm probably going to buy like either a Nanook or, or you know whatever kind of hard case for it. Okay. Yep. And that's it. That's all I. You know, if I need, I'll buy spare props. Okay. If I need spare props or something like that. Okay. Because well, usually even the base kit should come with at least a half set of spare props, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, sure you'll yeah. get. Yeah, I'm sure. It usually you. comes. Well, I mean, all their all their past releases have always come with one set of spare. So a full set, okay. Yeah, yeah. it usually comes with a full set. You and okay. then the the fly mores, you'll end up with three full sets. Okay. 12, 12 yeah. total. Yep. Yeah. Good. Yeah. So good. we're we're good there. I mean, you know, because yeah, I mean, I, know, did, I did hear a little bit of rumor though, Bill. And what's this that? Is all rumor that the case that comes with the Mavic Three is a cut above the cases we've got with the mini and the air two series that is a is a much more deluxe case than the ones we've seen it's still a soft case but it's much a higher grade than what we've been used to yeah before. it's what we've been told uh yeah. some sort of uh, uh lawn named it last week he named the the, the materials on it you know yeah. one thing i noticed about like that a case a is i don't see a shoulder material. that's not the word he said but it's a leather like material yeah. yeah i didn't see a shoulder strap on that thing am i the only one that did not see it was probably tucked inside you know you always get the shoulder strap yeah, I didn't see any clips on the side of the bag, so it had oh, me wow. worried for a minute. Now, I don't know if you saw this last night or not, Ron, uh, because I know you guys were so busy during the show. Lauren had posted they won't be getting them in the store until November the 12th, okay? I don't know if you saw that or not. I, he, yeah. I did, he's, I've seen him say that in the past, too, that the 12th. And, uh, you know, we... You know, we've seen the rumors that came out, I guess, almost a week ago now that uh, it looked like it was in a plastic bin in the Best Buy stockroom with the Best Buy bag that are now pictured to be totally fake. I mean, I, you know, but um, yeah, you know, yeah. I, and, and, you know, a lot of people say it's going to be a paper release. Other people say not. So, I mean, I, you know, I don't think anything's confirmed. I guess we'll see. If you want to show up at your Best Buy on Friday morning, uh, 
I think he got a shot. Oh, I'll yeah, help I, you out with that is DJI is now charging sales tax in the States. So yeah. you might be better off going to Best Buy because they have a 365 exactly, yeah. day buyback. Yeah. You know, yep. Matt, Matt makes yep. a good point because, you know, having a brick and mortar store, to, you have a point of being able to return that drone. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and, and that's a, you know, it's always dicey having to mail your drone back to DJI. Okay. That's always, you know, a risky proposition. Okay. And, and for me, you know, if I'm going to have to pay sales tax, I'd rather pay the sales tax, you know, here and get the drone. There's Marcus here and get the drone versus having to wait for it. Okay. Um, Marcus voted today, by the way. Congratulations, hey. Marcus. And, Hello and there, Bill, Marcus. Bill, you'd love it. This is Idaho. There was not a single Democrat on the ballot. I, really? I had to vote ours because there wasn't a Democrat to vote for. Oh, poor really? guy. <laughs> wow wow amazing absolutely yeah. amazing yeah well, what, what were you voting for today governor or uh, no this was just city government okay city local council. government yeah yeah well we're talking about you know availability you know it, it and and lauren and and was was saying last night his store is not going to be getting them to like the 12th okay yeah so you know is are they going to be at Best Buy on Friday morning? You know, uh, that's it. That's also in Canada too. So it, it yeah, it's more in Canada, here, you never so. know. Let me tell you, if they're not in Best Buy uh, that morning, I'm telling you, Ron and I have talked about this a number of times. Ron knows retail. Best Buy will not be happy. And next time you go into Best Buy, they'll have a huge dis autel display. Right. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I mean, it would it, it, it can. If they, if you, if you piss a big retailer off or whatever, like Best Buy, you know your product could be removed from the shelf, set, set all units could be set back to the company for a chargeback, and your competitors' products will be featured where your products used to be. So always be careful how you treat a a big retailer that's probably bigger than you are. Yep. Dude, dude I, I have lived that life, yep. uh, and Ron did too. So yeah, yeah. And, and Bill, you're you're at, you're with Publix. I'm sure you've seen it there. Oh yeah, I know I know that because yeah. you know you know back in a, a previous life, well, I majored in business administration. That's one of my two majors in college. And you know, um, you know, part of that is 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 really being able to to be smart about your marketing and and, and to do it, you know, and, and to please that supplier. Okay, because when you please that supplier, they're going to give you more product. Okay. Now, and there's another big box. There's another big store retailer. What? Remember when the Mavic One uh, for came out? The only store it was in for about the first week was the Apple Store. It's mm -hmm. out there in that little shelf. And ever since then, you go in the Apple Store. They don't have a wide selection of drones, but they always have the latest and greatest DJI sitting on that shelf. If that Mavic Three is not sitting on that shelf today when it comes out, um, you know, maybe maybe the uh, the all products will be good sitting on that shelf the next week. Well, Ron, you just made me think about another strategy. I'm going to find the uh, Apple Store there in uh, in yeah. Texas. There you go. <laughs> if the Battery 3 is there, maybe Tim Cook calls DJ up and says uh, something like, you better get that drone to shelf or I'm going to buy the whole darn company. <laughs> now, I, that, that wouldn't be a bad move. Yeah. <laughs> no, you know, I, I don't um, – you know, I really don't foresee a problem – with it being in stock. But one of the things that I'm going to say is this, is these drones have been sitting in warehouses for a while. Okay. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, they're not, cause I've seen a lot of people say, Oh, they're sitting in, in those 170 some ships off the coast, of California, blah, blah, blah. No. Okay. Now, the initial supply. They're it, already they, here. They're already here. Yeah. Now, you know, and this is my advice. Okay. You know, my, my dad used to have a phrase, something or get off the pot. Okay. And, and, and this is one, this is a very applicable thing right here because if you want it, if you think you want it, if you have an inkling that you want it, get it because you especially do it from Best Buy, Amazon, choose your method. Okay. Bill, because Bill, you, I don't know if I want it yet or not. Oh, I mean, oh, I, I want it. it if it's, but, but you know, we, we got to see the price. We got to understand all the features. I mean, I, I mean that I'm not joking. I think I think the price. I think, like we said earlier, I think the prices have pretty much. We been, know we know the price within now, within a hundred dollars or so. Yeah. yeah, 
Yeah, I think that's they're pretty damn Maybe. pretty damn close. Well, well Marcus, well, okay, well, you know, let, let me throw one thing in real fast, and I want to ask Marcus a question. I, I think the best strategy, if you really want to build, says, well, DJI, as soon as it goes live on our website, purchase it with your credit card. The mm-hmm. next morning, go to your local Best Buy. If it's on the shelf, you could buy it right then. Buy it and then just cancel the cancel your purchase your DJI order that you put in your credit card. But at least you got one locked in. Now, to address Marcus' question. I'm going to ask Marcus a question. What? Okay. What? What? Okay. We're only going to talk about standard packs. We're not going to talk about all the confusing extra packs. What price? Give me two prices. The price is going to have you buy it right away, and the price is going to have you not buy it. I'll tell you if if it's that rumored two thousand fifty or two thousand one hundred that you know that's the number everybody's mm-hmm. talking about for that base package. I, I'm still I'm on, I'm on the fence, right? It would depend on the features, obstacle avoidance. We we talked about that yesterday on Drone Nation. Now, if it's sixteen hundred or seventeen hundred, I'll be honest with you, I'd probably buy it no matter what. Yeah. Uh, well, if, you know, within reason, right? Yeah. And 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 then conversely, if it's twenty five hundred, I, I even no matter what I. I, uh, let me say this. I wouldn't buy it initially. I'd have to think about it for a while. Yeah. Here, here's my buying strategy. I'm going to get the Maverick 3, and I don't buy the next four or five mini drones, and I'm good. <laughs> there I you go. I just don't buy the next four <laughs> or five junky mini drones or whatever, uh, you know, and, and I've got the money. Yeah, those add up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. That's the hard way. <laughs> if, you have, if you have a whole shelf full of them, you spent your two grand. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. And repair and repairs and fixing them up, but sending them back, all that adds up too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, yeah. Like mine, I plan. My plan is to um, I I I I scheduled to do my 107, Marcus. Oh, okay. nice. Two weeks after spin up, uh, so it's uh, it, it'll be um, two two weekends from this week. So we'll and, as, we're, as we're walking by your table, spin up. Don't you bring it? <laughs> I need it. I need I need all the lessons I can get. Hey. Hey, the, the cool thing is, I'm telling you, and it's the truth, it forces you to study. Yeah. And you do. And and you know what my advice is? Three days before, just cram like crazy. Mm-hmm. Just like, like you know, you yeah. were taking an exam in school. Yeah. I mean, just, think of, just think of some like a like a hard high school class you had to cram for and pass. That's all it is. Just just think just go back in time to when you were high school and you had you had trouble with the class and you really had to work a little bit to pass. That's all this is. Well, to me, to me, it's more to me. It's it's this 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 will possibly make or break my financial situation with my family in the near future. Right. So, I mean, this be this this plans on becoming bigger than just having right. a license in my wallet. Right. Uh, well, I'm right. I'm going to tell you this, Matt. A couple of things here. Focus on those charts because they they yeah. do spend time on on the test on those charts. And then the other thing, know know your know what they say about alcohol and alcohol limits because yep. they threw in some curveballs yep. during the test on that okay so mm-hmm. you know those are two areas that i highly recommend that you kind of like drill through because you know i got i had the charts down pat okay i didn't have a problem with that but there was a couple of questions the way they worded them it mm-hmm. was it was it was so tricky okay yeah. And, and those are the ones that I miss. I got because, more than one alcohol question on my test too. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and they're tricky and you got to be real careful how you answer them. So yeah, just, just drill, yeah. the, especially focus on the charts and those questions like about drugs, alcohol, yep. you know, being impaired, that kind of stuff, because they try to throw you a curveball on them. Yeah. Yeah. That's guaranteed. the plan. Guaranteed. And then with the, like I, I plan on buying the Mavic three, I, I 100%, uh, but my, my route is not, taking money out of my pocket my route is that is going to pay for it right there so yeah. whenever i get the chance i get the chance i mean i'm not in a hurry to get it so there to us perfectly fine no, no money's coming out of my pocket either mine's going to be completely a go, you know go go fund me by selling old drones it already is yeah like, that, exactly yeah. i sell selling old stuff it don't yeah. fly anymore hey yeah. matt can, can i ask you a question and because i'm i'm interested listen i'm an old retired guy so my part 107 Basically, it's just because I'm a YouTuber, right? I mean, other than that, I probably wouldn't have got it. Mm-hmm. But uh, so I know I've heard that real estate with a drone is getting so competitive that it's tough to make any money. It is. That. So what, what is your uh, business plan? I mean, uh, some of those we go look companies or that kind of thing? Well, fortunately, like you said, the real estate company is the real estate market is getting very saturated. 
And, and that varies by the state. It's not that saturated in New Jersey yet, but Florida. Yeah, it depends on where you're at. Like down here, um, my my neighbor to my immediate right is a real estate agent, and he does not know a single drone pilot in South Florida. Uh, and he's been a real estate agent for years. I'm already in with him on that end. Uh, I'm not starting that way. I'm going to do it for him as a favor after the 107. Of course, make money doing it. But uh, I have a friend of mine that does um, insurance adjusting for roof inspectors. Oh, he's beautiful. A manager, and uh, he travels yeah. the country, and he and I are in talks of a business venture by the end of the year that will allow us to start start doing roof-type inspections for, for hurricane season for both residential and commercial. So it's – um, That's mostly just pictures, so – Pretty much. Yeah. yeah. A little bit of advice, uh, Matt. Go ahead and get your LLC right now. It's super easy yep. to do. Get, you know, just get it done so it's out of the way. I would look into whatever liability insurance so that you're all just ready to rock and roll. Yep. You could when, when I when I work, I just use what's the, what verify app or whatever. You just go in, it GPS it knows exactly where you are. You usually it's usually it's ten dollars for a million dollars worth of insurance for an hour. Yeah, nice. I, yeah. I've always wondered about that. If what what is the better way to do that? To go to like, I mean, it depends on how much business you're going to do, right? But but Ron, that's a good point. Yeah, I know. Bit, the, the, the jump ahead and answer your question verifies associated with some real brick and mortar um, insurance right. company. I forget the name, but if, if you, it, it, it's it's not just some online company. It's associated with a real brick and mortar insurance company. But I guess what I'm getting at is which is, which is more cost effective. In other words, let's say for the sake of argument that Matt's going to do 100 jobs next year. Yeah. yeah well, yeah. well, you know, 100 times 10, that's a fair amount of money. What if your annual premium, because sometimes they can be really cheap. What if yeah. exactly. $200 exactly. a year, right? Right. But if you're somebody like me, it just does it once in a blue moon, it's easier to just pop that app up and pay $10. Right. And I just charge the $10 along to the client anyways. So it's not coming out of my pocket. Yeah. That's a great idea. Yeah, sorry for getting so, so far into the weeds, Bill. Yeah, we we, we got a, we got a, a little inside baseball there for you, Bill. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, uh, you know, uh, everything being said, okay. Now, you know, and, and I started at the top of the show. You know, it's and I know you guys talked about this last night too. It's it's like you know, spin up. It's like it's like did did Kelly just tell DJI? You know, why don't you kind of release the Mavic Three? You know, a couple days before. Oh, spin got up. more power than we thought. Yeah, he does. Yeah. He really does. I, I, mean, no, I, I you know, I, I, first off, I want to ask you: is, Does it feel like Christmas with the Mavic Three finally come out? And, and were you shocked when they moved the release date up? Uh, yeah, I, I mean, was like, shocked. I mean, uh, people yeah. have told me they did remind me that one of the Air Twos came out at night or whatever. But were you kind of shocked when it kind of got? And I know it's the Friday in China, but still, usually the times are U.S. centric. So that kind of threw us off a little bit when uh, Friday. And also, when in the same couple hours. All those leaked videos came out of uh, uh, all two leaked videos came out of China of people flying the thing. Yeah, yeah. these I don't think these things happen on accident. Mm -hmm. I, I got to be honest. I, I think there's a rhyme to a rhyme and reason to all of this, man. I, I would suspect it's more that Kelly picked his date based on the date that DJ spin up, not the other way around. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just guessing. I, 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 hey, if Kelly's listening, Kelly, I'm just joking around, but I asked Kelly to come on Drone Nation last night, and he said he, he was busy with a, a, a prior engagement, so he just sent me a couple of things to read off on the air. But um, that prior engagement is probably him out putting the final test plates in the Mavic 3 uh, before his review. Uh, uh. <laughs> yeah, well, you know what's cool is we're going to see him there. Um, we already, I mean, 2 plus 2, we already know they're going to be there. And uh, with them going on sale Thursday night, Saturday morning, nobody will have them in their hands yet. So we're, the guys that spin up, we're going to be the first to see them in person. Yeah, because it's going to be kind of cool. Said, Billy Kyle already said last week. I said, Billy, as soon as it's advertised on DJI's Ooh. website, yummy. Can you can you show it and spin up? And he shook his head. Yes. As soon as as soon as oh. it's for sale, he can get out and show it to us. Yeah, their videos will start hitting YouTube uh, at ten oh five. Yeah, ten oh five. Exactly. That's, that's, that's if he that's if he has it. Yeah, ten oh five. Ten oh five Thursday night. Question. Well, it was funny because. We were in Brooklyn for the Mavic Two event, and as soon as as soon as the guy started talking, I got notification. I looked down at my phone. Um, Kelly Shores, DJI <laughs> Mavic Two, <laughs> you know, uh, first flight video. And, you know, it's yep. just like Bing right away. And then and then you got to see some other ones coming up there. Okay, 
and, and I'm like, okay, yeah, this is this is good. This is it's really well. Kelly, when when we were at the event, okay, he was talking to the presenter. He he was one of the VPs at DJI. I mean, and he introduced me to, to him. I got to meet him that way, and he he was kibitzing with him. But it was like it was like you know, it's like Kelly knew this guy. Now you know the other thing was um, when when we were there, you know, it, it was you felt like it was a you, you you were at like this social event because they had had like this unbelievable or I don't want to even call them hors d'oeuvres. It was more like finger food and they served chilled orange juice and lemonade in these nice glass. I mean, really nice glasses, you know, and they had somebody coming around and doing all this stuff. And, I, you know, and I'm looking at Valerie and I'm just shaking my head. I'm like, I'm like, are we at it, it's some kind of social event or what? You know, <laughs> But here's here's the fun, here's the real funny thing. OK. When we were going around the table, because they had they had like they had two tables worth of Mavic twos sitting out. I mean, you could touch them, you know, pick them up and everything. Okay, Billy, okay, w was over there. All right, you know how a guitar player, and, and I think you guys probably know that. You know, they'll stick their tongue out when they're when they're really you know really jamming. Okay, Billy's tongue was almost out when he was down there photographing and videotaping. You know, going around going around one of the Mavic twos. For, for filming a shot. Okay. It was just, it was crazy. Okay. His attention to detail. And that's one of the things that makes him great is his attention to detail. It was just off the charts. I mean, I just love watching him do that. I mean, it was just, it, it was just, it was crazy. Hey, Bill, yeah. go back about 10 comments and highlight Geek Spana's uh, comment at 849. Yeah, I saw that. It's right between Batty and Marcus's comment. He did indeed. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna make you watch it to find out what he said. Well, Matt, if, if that hints to Bobby Three is the big prize, you could win that and, I, and save yourself a purchase. I I personally think it will be, but hey, I, and I don't know anything either. But I I think there'll be one there. I could be wrong, but actually, I plan on walking away with one. So <laughs> <laughs> you, you mean one that you won, not somebody else's that you? Just yeah, one that I won. Yeah, one yeah, that yeah, I won. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, I'm not that much of an a-hole. I mean, I get there, but yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, look, look, look uh, Sean put up another comment, his most recent comment. He it just popped up. If it comes out it in November, it will be a prize. Yeah, yep. you know, we could all kind of guess that. Hey, uh, Bill, I see our friend Barry Markowitz has posted that he's got a Mavic 2 Flymore for sale. So if anybody is looking, he's trying to fund that next purchase. He's, he's, well. trying to, yeah. he's trying to do my thing and go fund it through his other thing. And I want to apologize to Barry. During the show last night, Marcus got these texts too. Barry was sending this video from uh, Spin Up uh, 2019, but uh, I, I had all my alerts turned off on my phone because I had been flying not long before the show, so I wasn't getting anything. So I apologize, Barry, for not seeing those texts during the show. Mm -hmm. Good deal. Good deal. You know, I, I, I can't tell, I, you know, my, my, my heart and soul are going to be with you guys this weekend because there's no other place I'd rather be than, 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 than it's been up with you guys, you know, but I'm, I'm thinking about what's coming up in December. It's kind of like, you know, that delayed gratification kind of thing. And here's, here's my wife today. Okay. Now my granddaughter likes to play dress up already. She fancies herself a princess. Okay. So Valerie's picked out like this little tent we can put in the bedroom back there so she can sleep in there. And it's like this pink tent and it looks like a little castle. Okay. And she's got her already. She's going to buy all these little costumes for her. These, you know, with wands and stuff like that and all this, you know, it, it, it's, it's like, it's just like some delayed gratification kind of a thing. So she's going to get spoiled rotten. So. I'm sure you're not telling mm -hmm. Maddie anything he doesn't know. Right. Exactly. You know, oh yeah, I know how that works. Four girls, I tell you. <laughs> yeah, I, well, yeah, I, I tell you, I had, I had um, two boys and one girl, and and my my daughter was spoiled rotten. Okay, she's absolutely, totally spoiled rotten. Of course, the boys were too. But what can I say about that? So, um, but yeah, I mean, you know, spin ups coming this weekend. It's going to be a great time, and I'm sure you guys will have a blast down there. Um, you know, I'm sure Kelly's got some great. 
Who's he have lined up for speakers? Do you guys know? Well, we read that off of the show last night. The only okay. name I was familiar with was Aldrin, five, five paths. The other names I did not know those people, but I think one guy was an FPV pilot, and uh, it may just be my, um, you know. You want me to, you want me to read them off? FPV. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead, Marcus. Yeah. Uh, so let's see. Geeks Vaughn is doing the pre-show first. We all got to watch. We need to uh, watch Sean on the pre-show, and then – uh, Troy Naquin is speaking, then uh, Jace McGowan, then Christian Malika, then Cornell Herg, then Aldrin Astacio, uh, and then uh, Elijah May. And I can look and tell you who all those guys are. And I read quick. the companies they were associated with off last night, but I, I cannot remember. Yeah, I can do that real quick if you'd like. Of course, we all know Aldrin uh, Astacio from Flight Path. Uh, and then uh, Christian uh, Malika is uh, an author of FPV Flight Dynamics. He's yeah, a, he, he wrote that book, that FPV book, book that a lot of people talk about. Yep. And then Cornell Herg is uh, from EVAX, another uh, uh uh, FPV guys. So Ron and I'll be outside flying our camera drones or something probably during those presentations. We'll, we'll be out. We'll be out fiddling around with the Mavic Three at that yeah. point. Yeah, I'll, yes, be, yeah. I'll, I'll be out there with you. Yeah. No worries. Then, uh, uh, Elijah Bay is with a company called uh, uh, Roboters, and I am not familiar with them, but it sounds interesting. Uh, and then Jace McCowan is a uh, multi-rotor uh, test yeah. pilot former air force pilot now that will be fascinating he now everybody was hoping that he brought one of those to spin up that would be cool as hell if there was one there that one of those lift aircraft yep yep, yep. and then and that, that would be amazing wouldn't it that'd mm -hmm. be stuff and then uh and then troy naquin is with quad standard labs and i'm sorry to say i'm not familiar with that company i don't know what they do Hey, I got announced that our, our friend Stephen Ewing from Owen Ireland, he's not feeling well. He's yeah, I saw that. He's better early tonight. Get, get all, right, all my friends. Um, as a matter of fact, guys, if you don't mind, I'm going to jump off as well. Um, I am going to kick up a little uh, spin up show here at 9 p.m. Uh, you know, I'll probably try and run it a little Matt, late, Matt, depending said, on what said, time you said, guys get off. Send me a link, but I, don't, I can only come in for a couple minutes because I'm I'm flying out early tomorrow morning, so I'm still kind of packing my... Yeah, no problem. Thing, but I, I want to pop in just to help you out for a couple minutes. Yeah, we'll be over there just uh, hanging around, talking, talking, Good. spin up Good. and drones. I'll have Johnny on um, as long as, uh, as well as Ray Kelly and DeMarco Moore, so... Good. All right. I appreciate it, Bill. Thank you for right, having me on, so buddy. Much for, for stopping by. We're going to have you on again, okay? Absolutely, man. Absolutely. I'll see you guys in a few days, huh? All right. Be safe. Yeah. Have, yeah. have fun. Yeah. Take care. Bye, everybody. Stay, All right. Safe travels, Matty. Thank you. That was great having Matt on tonight. I, yeah, I yeah. Just, And it's been, like I said, it's been way too long. I should have had him on a long time ago, okay? Um, he He's absolutely – and I'm looking forward to our version of spin of, of the Florida version of spin up you know, when we, when we get together uh, next April um, and, you know, R Ray's going to put on a great time. Okay. And it's, and, and I, and I, everything I saw from last year, it went really well. So I'm looking very much looking forward to that. That's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. We just want a little bit less wind this year. It was like a hurricane. Yeah. Was that was just that little Island. Yeah. That was not a good night. It, you know, as my, as, as my catchphrase was not very applicable. Well, it was a day. it was a beautiful day if you take the wind away. You know, I mean, yeah, it looked good. The temperature was right. Everything was good if you remove that forty mile per hour wind. Now the weather has has turned down here in Florida, and it's nice now. I mean, this is the time of year in Florida. It's just it's just stinking nice. There's no humidity. Highs are in the low eighties right now. It gets into the maybe. Uh, 60s, 50s at night. It's comfortable. It's you know the air conditioning's not running as much as that. It's just stinking nice to be you outside know, right what? now. Well, it hit the 40s here in New Jersey uh, today, no. so, uh, so I I'm ready to get out of town uh, uh, now. But I mean, it was just nice the other day, so it just came all at once. So, what's the weather like in Austin? Uh, I think it, actually, I think when, when we get there, like tomorrow, it's going to be raining. And then uh, like it's bringing a little bit of a cool front, but I think it'll be back up in the seventies by the weekend. Okay, good. And and good. actually, I'm taking a side trip to um, Galveston, Texas, 
at spin. So oh, wow. Galveston is on the coast. Galveston is kind of like Florida. It'll be in the 70s and 80s still on Galveston. Oh, yeah. It'll be not. You'll you'll enjoy Galveston. Everybody that's been down there, they say they really like it. Yeah. Um, you know, I've been to Houston before, and let me tell you this. It is more humid in Houston than it is in Florida. Okay, you, you know is, Brian uh, B Mac. Uh, 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 I don't know Brian's last name. Uh, one time he told me I said something about Cuba heat wave in Houston. He says there's one big heat wave from uh, June 1st to August 31st, like one nonstop heat wave for three months in Houston. But, any uh, closing thoughts, Ron? Now. Ron, he, any closing thoughts? Um. Uh, you know, just, uh, you know, I want to, um, you know, uh, just uh, say, you know, we're, we're all we're on the verge of the Mavic 3 here. I know not everybody, know, you know, knows if they're going to get it because of price. I mean, people, I think everybody wants it. It's kind of a price concern this time. This will be the most expensive consumer drone I guess anybody has ever purchased, Bill. Um, and uh, is it worth it? Well, I mean, we can't tell you until we actually get it in our hands and put in the air and all that. But uh, I'm excited. I'm excited to see everybody at spin up. So I think it's going to be a, a good week, gentlemen. Marcus. Yeah. Thank you, Ron. And I totally agree. Uh, it, it's, I'm really excited, of course, about spin up and of course about the introduction of the Mavic three and, and we'll learn more about it uh, when it gets here. And uh, in, in just a couple of days, all this guesswork that we're doing now will just be a bunch of history and we'll either have it or we won't. Right. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, and spin up is just going to be a riot. I can tell you, Bill, you were just bringing up the weather. This is such a wonderful time to get out and fly your drone. Perfect time of year. Shirt sleeve weather typically. In mm -hmm. another few weeks, it's going to get really cold uh, or start to get cold and not be as hospitable to flying your drone. So, get out there now. Fly what you got and uh, and have fun. And uh, everybody that's going to spin up, we'll see you there. And Thank you, Bill, for having me on tonight. Oh, you, well, you're welcome. And glad to have both of you guys on. And uh, we wish safe travels for both of you, Matt, Johnny, everybody traveling, um, you know, and just ha have a great time down there. And and don't and don't pull an original Dobo. You know what he did that Sunday after spin up? He was flying. He crashed. Yes, well, wait, Marcus, I, Marcus, I'm right there. Yeah. Yeah. I was yeah. like, don't don't pull a Dobo. Okay. Do no, we love you, Ken. But Especially <laughs> with the Mavic 3. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially with that. So, you know, um, don't forget, and this is this is out there for everybody. For for those of you that won't be traveling, we're having a very special live show, probably about 10 15 on Thursday night. Okay. Um, you know, if available, Ron and Marcus will join us. Maddie may join us, uh, and Johnny may join us, Johnny Drone Flyer. So Stay tuned for that. We're going to have an, a lot of fun with that. And then, as soon as it, as soon as we get our hands on it, we're gonna we're gonna put it through its paces. And one of the things I wanted to remind everybody about, and, and I think this is an important thing. Okay, a lot of times, you know, when when these test units come out, and and, and this is something that you need to kind of bear in mind. You know that um, you know the 100K channels will get. Sometimes they may be pre-production units. Okay. So, you know, that you may not see 100% of all the features that you want to see until, you know, until the, until it actually hits the release. Because one of the things that they do, and, and that I know this, is they give them a beta version of the, of the Fly app. It's not the actual, you know, it's not fully baked, so it may not do some things, okay? So expect, so, to, see, expect to see your uh, Fly app get updated on Thursday. Yeah, it's going to get updated Thursday night. So, um, you know. Th that's that's what I have, you know, a bookmark 10, 15, Thursday night, build a drone reviewer, be here. We're going to have a lot of fun. Um, you know, we've been waiting for this for a while. It's finally here, guys. Bill, can we get you the commit? Will you hit the buy button that night? Oh, me? A hundred percent. We got a commitment. I've already, I've already sold my drones. They're, they're uh, money. The, the, cleared, are yeah. ready. the deck is cleared. Okay. We're ready to rock and roll. Okay. Plus I got a hundred dollar bonus from last year. Um, for I got an employee award. So what they did was instead of having a dinner, they gave us a gift card and it's a Visa oh. gift card for a hundred bucks. So I'm getting my sales tax taken care of okay. with that. So what is the part of sales tax bill? 7%. I think it's the same as New Jersey. Yeah. It's I think it's, Michael Wright told us it's like 8.5 in Texas. It's pretty, it's pretty hefty here because we don't have an income tax. I, might, I think Michael Wright told us the same thing. 
Yeah, we don't have an income tax here, so. Yeah. All well, right, and, guys. I, and I guess what I told him, I said, in New Jersey, we got every tax. You Same name right. it. <laughs> here in New Jersey. And Idaho, they get you every which way but loose. And then yeah. we have toll roads and toll roads and toll roads and toll roads on top of toll roads. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Have safe travels to everybody who's traveling out there. Have a great time. Be sure to tune in Thursday night at 10.15. We're going to have a blast. Wouldn't miss it. It's always a great day to fly. Take care, everybody.